Man, was that an easy debate. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. But he certainly made it look easy, didn't he? How good is this guy? Wow. Honestly, I felt so sorry for Tim Kaine. That was like, that was like a great football team playing your local high school football players. So Hillary lied about it. She said it was the gold standard, and we caught her in the lie and all of that. But when you think about it, it is the gold standard. It's the gold standard for the other countries, not for us, for the other countries we're doing business with. Can't do it. Hillary will pass the TPP. She will absolutely pass it, which will destroy the rest of the auto industry. Believe me, it will, just mark my words, it will destroy. They don't even talk about currency manipulation in TPP. And they didn't want to because it was taken out because some of our politicians wanted it taken out. Their number one weapon. They wanted it taken out because the special interests take care of our politician folks. But they're not taking care of me. I've spent a fortune on this campaign. And I'll tell you, I told this to Mike Pence. If we don't win, because everyone's saying unbelievable, unbelievable, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, there's never been a movement like this. I said, let me just tell you, stop right there. If we don't win, this will be the single greatest waste of time, energy, and money in my life. We have to win. To do what we have to do, we have to win. We can't just have something that looks wonderful in the history books in 30 years. As part of our plan to bring back jobs, we are going to lower taxes on American business from 35% to 15%. We will massively cut taxes for the middle class. Hillary Clinton wants to raise your taxes very significantly. Think of it. We're the highest tax nation in the world, and she wants to raise your taxes. And we will rebuild our inner cities. I know so much about Detroit. I know so much about the inner cities. The African-American community, the Hispanic community, has been treated horribly for a long time. The politicians, in the case of the inner cities, virtually all Democrats, for over 100 years sometime, chain unbroken. What they've done is they come in and they get your vote, and then they say, see you in four years. I'll see you in four years. We're going to fix our inner cities. Right now, they're so unsafe. You walk to the store to pick up a loaf of bread, you get shot. You get shot. You know, in Chicago, thousands and thousands of shootings since January 1st. The inner cities are unbelievably dangerous. The education is no good. The safety is horrible, and there are no jobs. And I tell everybody, what the hell do you have to lose? I'm going to fix it. We will fix it. We will fix it. Vice President Mike Pence will be involved, and he is so enthused about this. There is such potential. We have such potential. In the, the people, I'm talking about the people. There's such potential there. We will fix it. Remember that. We will become a rich nation once again. But to be a rich nation, we must also be a safe nation. Hillary Clinton wants a 550% increase in Syrian refugees pouring into our country. and virtually unlimited immigration from the most dangerous regions of the world, including regions overrun and controlled by ISIS. Her plan will import generations of terrorism, extremism, and radicalism into your schools and throughout your communities. When I'm elected president, we will suspend the Syrian refugee program. And we will keep 
radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country, 100%. We have no choice. We have no choice. But we all have big hearts, and we will build safe havens in Syria, and we'll get the Gulf states. They have nothing but money. They have nothing but money. We will get them to pay for it. We owe $20 trillion right now. We're not going to pay for it. We're going to get the Gulf states to pay for it. We'll manage it. We'll take care of people. But they can't come into our country. We have enough problems, okay? Here in Michigan, you've seen firsthand the problems caused with the refugee program, with large numbers of poorly vetted refugees pouring into your state without your knowledge, without your support, or without your approval. Nobody even knows where people are being placed. A Trump administration will not admit any refugees without the support of the local community where they're being placed. A Trump administration will also secure and defend the borders of the United States. And yes, we will build a great, great wall. So, I just want to ask you one question, if you don't mind, at one o'clock in the morning. Who is going?